Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Wix and back with another video. This one is gonna be about making PowerShell Hackerland look better. We're gonna do a bit of customization to it. So in order to... Give me a second. And in order to do that, we're gonna use Oh My Posh. It's a program somebody made, some scripts that uh, help you customize PowerShell. And to install, first things first, we need to install Oh My Posh. And to do that, we're gonna use Winget, the Windows Package Manager. I made a video about it last time, but it's pretty easy. Uh, let me just grab the package name because it has a bit of a weird name. So we're gonna do winget oh it's already here uh, so we're gonna do winget install jan i'll put this in text somewhere in the video jan d double year dot oh my posh dash s for source winget press enter on that i already have it installed i think yeah so it's just gonna yeah already installed okay install that and then for it to be added to the path of PowerShell, you need to restart the terminal. So close it and open it again. And now all my posh is gonna be in your path so you can run it, let me, let me make the font bigger. So you can run it um, from the command line and we're gonna do, we're gonna need to install some fonts that we will use because all my posh uses some icons and for you to have those icons in the fonts you need something called a nerd font they're basically they're special fonts that have uh, weird and cool icons in them that you can use in text and to install one of those we're gonna do all oh my posh font install and the user flag this means you were gonna install this uh, font for the current user if you want to install it for the entire machine, then drop the user at the end, but you need to run this command into an administrator PowerShell. I'm just gonna install it for the current user because I don't really care. And uh, you can pick any font from here. Uh, I suggest pick the ones that have mono in the name because PowerShell acts weird if the fonts are not mono. So use a mono font I don't know, I, I think I installed robot, Roboto Mono, let's get that one. Okay, now they're installed. Now we have to make PowerShell use this font by default. And to do that, we're gonna go up here. Let me see if I can make it bigger. You go up here at the, Power, at the PowerShell title bar in this little arrow drop down go to settings and then on the left here we're gonna have profiles and defaults click on defaults then scroll down in that window and you're fine I'm gonna find appearance click on appearance and then right here you're gonna see the font uh, I had not mono but let's use Roboto Roboto Mano, where is Roboto? Oh, why is Roboto not? Oh, there is. Uh, Roboto Nerd Fund Mano. Click on that, click on save. And now PowerShell will use that font. And then you can close that tab and you make it small again. And now we're using Roboto, wait, scroll, okay. Now we're using Roboto Mano. Now, in order to have all my posh applied, we need to set it in our profile for PowerShell. And to do that, uh, first we need to create our PowerShell profile file. Because normally it doesn't exist by default. If yours exists, you just skip this step. If it doesn't, just do it. But you can do this just to make sure. Uh, you have to do one second to find it. This one. New item path profile dollar sign profile type file and do force if it exists you will overwrite it so if you already if you know you have it just skip this step if you don't know just press enter on this 
created the file and then we have to go add the startup configuration for all my posh in it so we do notepad dollar sign profile press enter and then this file will open you're gonna see microsoft powershell profile ps1 and in there you're gonna put this text i'm gonna put it in the description or in on screen all my posh in it powershell and vertical bar it's that's a let me make it bigger uh, this vertical bar is on your keyboard somewhere for me i have to press shift and the key above my enter key to do this vertical bar for you might be different but it's on your keyboard somewhere and then invoke expression now one mention here is that this is pwsh for me because i'm using the standalone powershell there is another PowerShell that comes with Windows and that's called Windows PowerShell and you can see the difference up here. If the tab up top says PowerShell, you're using the Microsoft PowerShell. If you're using Windows PowerShell, it's the PowerShell that comes with Windows. I suggest you switch to the normal PowerShell, not the Windows one. And the way you do that is to download it and install it with Winget because it's easy, you just do Winget install uh, winget search powershell and then it's gonna be this one that has the id of microsoft.powershell let's ins install this with winget and then you can go into settings over here let me show it bigger and then you go into here up top at the little arrow go to settings in here and then the first one for default profile you're gonna have if you're on Windows PowerShell, you're going to have Windows PowerShell. If you install the normal PowerShell, just set this one here to be the default and you're done. And then next time you open the console, it's going to be the standalone PowerShell. And uh, if you're using the Windows PowerShell, this might be different for you. That's why I'm mentioning it, because this is PWSH, because I'm using the standalone PowerShell, not the Microsoft Power, the Win not the Windows PowerShell but um you can see which one you're using by doing all oh my posh oh my posh let's clear the screen first oh my posh get shell press enter on that and you see for me it says powershell this is the word you're gonna use here so now that we've done the PowerShell profile file save that save this in here and we need to reload the profile so we have uh, all my posh apply to reload the profile we type dot dollar sign profile all caps press enter and boom we have a pretty PowerShell and this will apply ls let's see this will apply to any prompt it's going to show the folder let's go into documents for example so you can see documents see it changed the prompt here the first one is the user then it's the folder and then it's a if uh, last command was success was successful because if if i do um, cd and some folder doesn't exist you're going to have an x because last command didn't succeed and uh, the powers oh my posh has a lot of prompts like this uh, if you want to see them all and uh, yeah let's let's show how to change the theme so this is this is the default one but uh, let me i have it written somewhere here yeah uh, to see all of them you do get minus posh themes press enter and it's gonna start dumping all the themes it has in here and let's wait for it to finish and then we're gonna set one of these themes to be the default not whatever we had first okay so now that it's done dumping our themes make a note of what's down here you see you're gonna see an example blah 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 just copy this select it right i think it's already copied if you right click Select it and right click it and then just put it in notepad somewhere because this is what we're going to use to change the theme. So copy that bit at the end, the example, and then let's scroll up and look at some themes. I'm kind of liking the velvet one. 
It doesn't really matter, just pick one you like. No. Kind of like the last one I saw. This one's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm not gonna make the video longer. Let's just pick one. I'll pick the last one. Because I kind of like this one with red and uh, green. So this one is called Zash. So that, and you ho hover the mouse over, you're gonna, let me, let me make it bigger. Because you're gonna need that name, that's the thing. Okay, so if you hover the mouse over Zash, it should show a pop-up. It's not showing it now in the zoom, but uh, it should show a pop-up and it will tell you the name of the file. So if I do it like this, it's zash.omp.json. And uh, then we're gonna take the text that we saved, get all of this, and then we go into our profile. So we're gonna do notepad dollar sign profile again, open that file. And instead of what we had before, we're gonna select this and paste the long text that we copied from the end of the theme dump and just change in here the name of the theme we want. So Zash, it was for me and it was .omp.json, that's perfect. Uh, leave the rest as you see it. Just save this file, then go back to PowerShell and type dot space dollar sign profile and this will make it reload the profile and it will make it apply our new prompt press enter and boom we have the new prompt i like the new prompt of course it's an error and it's it's doing a little sad face at the end because the previous command didn't execute successfully anyway uh, that would be it for the video, I think. Um, showed how to change themes, how you install my posh, configure it, change the font so you have icons and stuff. And um, what's left is for you to enjoy your new shiny customized PowerShell. And I will catch you in the next video. Toodoo!